There we are. Let's get on with the next part of our program for today as we take a look at another huge international country star. That is Don Williams. And uh, if you're not sure who Don Williams is, you might remember his biggest hit of all time. <coughs> goes like this. But most of all, you're my best friend. I think I'm quite good at singing, don't you? Perhaps not. We'll have to wait and see. We caught up with Don the other day to find out his thoughts on his career and also why country music seems to be sweeping the world at the moment. Take a look at this. I don't believe in superstars since about 1990. Um, sales of country music have more than doubled, certainly in America. I wonder why that is. Do you, do you have any thoughts on that? No, I really don't. Uh, I don't know, you know, what's, what's really caused it. Uh, um, pop music has really kind of, uh, it seems like it's floundered around for a while. Uh, the uh, advent of the newer country acts, uh, uh, they've got a much more prop, pop approach to what they're doing, uh, and in some respects is very refreshing. Uh, but it really is, right now, it's, it's, it's kind of a phenomenon. Do you think people like Billy Ray Cyrus and uh, K.D. Lang are doing to country what it actually needs for, say, the 1990s? I, I don't know if it's what it really needs. Uh, but I think what they're bringing to it's very good. Uh, I think the only problem that country music's having right now is uh, uh, the newer acts have brought such a such a level of excitement to the industry that uh, uh, a lot of the radio and uh, record labels have really kind of narrowed the blinders uh, to uh, just dealing with them exclusively. Uh, whereas that doesn't constitute all of country music. Uh, country music's a much broader base than that, but uh, nonetheless, I think it is still very good. Do you find or have you found there is a trend that people enter or, or become enthusiasts of, of country music at a certain age? Well, I think that used to be uh, pretty much the tradition that uh, a lot of people wouldn't really uh, get into country music until they were a little older, uh, but the audiences are, are becoming younger all the time. I don't believe that heaven waits for only those who congregate. I like to think of God as love. He's down below, he's up above. He's watching people everywhere. He knows who does and doesn't care. And I With, with such a long and successful career, what is the secret? How do you actually manage to keep on going and uh, to still be at the top, which is where you are now? I guess I just always felt like there was a lot of room to do it better. And uh, that's always my intention, to try to do it better than I ever have uh, with the records and with the live performances. Um, and at the same time, just try to stay not so locked into what I what I do which is uh, working in the studio and and working on the road that if if something else is presented to me that I can be loose enough to do something else if it's yeah. interesting 
What about you as a person? I mean, do, do you live a, a glitzy showbiz life? What's, what's the real... <laughs> I can't wait for you to say yes. Do you, um, do you go back and live on a ranch or something, or do you, do you go out to showbiz parties? What's, what's the real Don Williams like? We live in the country, right? And uh, I'm not uh, I'm not what you'd call a rancher or a farmer. Uh, we have acreage uh, that's just uh, it's our refuge. Uh, and whereabouts do you live? It's in Middle Tennessee, about 40 miles northwest of Nashville. But uh, no, I went through uh, uh, quite a period of uh, you know the parties, and there's always some to do uh, going on, you know, that's industry related. And uh, I don't know, after, after a time, I just, uh, I became the best vanishing act <laughs> in Nashville. Uh, I'd come in through the front door and I'd, <laughs> I'd go see the people that uh, I, I knew I should see. And uh, the next thing they knew, I was gone. Uh, I've never been really comfortable in a crowd, so I'm in a strange business to to feel that way, but uh, that still is the case. What about your life back home, and when you when you are going out shopping or you're going out with your family, is do you have total freedom to do that, or do you get bothered a lot? No, uh, I can do pretty much what I want to. Uh, but has, has fame restricted you in certain ways? No, no. Uh, I don't, I don't go about at home looking like I look right now, you know. Wear the hat though, I'll bet. No, I usually wear a, like a ball cap or something, you know, like that. Uh, so this is your Don Williams outfit? Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm being him today. <laughs> uh, but no, it's, uh, I get so far removed from it, uh, you know, if I'm, uh, working on something at home and I have to go into town to get some supplies or whatever and uh, and somebody approaches me for an autograph or something sometimes it just really freaks me out really? because I'm so far removed from that whole thing you know you're not Don Williams that day oh, well that's right well, I know with all my certainty what's going on with you and me is a good Who do you think are, in your opinion, some of the greats of country music, some of your contemporaries? Who, who do you listen to and who do you like? Well, I think it goes without saying Jim Reeves was uh, one of the all-time greats. Uh, Johnny Horton, uh, Johnny Cash. And he's recorded one of your own songs, isn't he, Johnny Cash? Yeah, John did. How did that come to happen? Well, it was, uh, it was just, I wrote the song about 15 years before he cut it. Uh, and it was one of the few songs when I wrote it that I, I could really hear him doing it. Uh, it just took 15 years for him to, <laughs> to realize that it, was a, it may be a good song for him, you know, but uh, John's a fine fella and I was very complimented that he did the song. And you've also, I was, I was curious to read, um, Eric Clapton has recorded one of your songs as well. So who approached who for that? Well, that was, uh, that was a really interesting little deal. Uh, Eric, I met Eric at one of my shows and uh, uh, visited in my dressing room after the show was over. And um, then we went out to his house a, a bit later in the tour and, and spent the evening with him. And uh, he, he asked me if there were any songs that I had written that, uh, that I felt good about but hadn't done anything with. And so, I played him this song, uh, and I didn't even know at the time he had a recorder going. <laughs> but uh, he called me, uh, oh, I don't know, it was several months later, and asked me if, uh, if I would mind if he recorded the song. And I said, well, mind? I mean, I'd be extremely complimented. Well, I don't believe virginity is as common as it used to be. Working days and sleeping nights That black is black and white is white That Superman and Robin Hood Are still alive in Hollywood That gasoline's in short supply The rising cost of getting by But I believe in love I believe in old folks
Well, Don, it's great to meet you. Thank you very much for finding the time. Good luck with the album as well and with the tour. It's good to well, see you. Well, thank you, Claire. I enjoy it. I'm going to get a hat like that now, by the way. All right. Well, a big yee-haw to all of you. I can't believe I did that for watching the program today. Our special on country music, thanks to all our guests, including Don Williams, to Roseanne Cash, and special thanks to our friend, Denise Austin, who I'm sure you'll agree, she's gonna change the way that we will exercise for the rest of our lives. Thanks to the public out in the street, and thanks to you at home for watching. That's all for this edition of On The Air. I'm Clive Pierce, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>